Hey World Changers, it's Pastor Wes and welcome back. I hope your week's going well as we're in the middle of our week talking about the power of release. Now, today I wanna to talk more about how do we release things. Before we've been talking about looking uh, forward instead of back, uh, we've been talking about letting go of the things of the past, letting go of hurts, letting go of some of our traditions, letting go of even some of the things that God has asked us to do but was for a certain time for a certain season, and now we're in a new season. And with everything going on with the COVID-19, talking about how to move forward to a new normal, we gotta be open-minded. We gotta be willing to adjust things. We gotta be willing not to be so focused and locked in on, man, this is the way things were, and kind of get lost in what people will call the glory days, and realize, man, God has so many glorious days for us to move forward. So let me get in today how, how to release things to God, how to release the old things so we can receive the new, exciting, fresh things that God has for all of us. My scripture today is Isaiah 43, and I'm gonna read through verse 18 and 19. It says in verse 18, forget the former things. And I'm gonna just kind of stop right there. You just realize how just straight, you know, God is right there when he said that. Forget the former things. Sometimes we have to completely let all the former things in the former ways we do and we used to do things and let those things go. Uh, verse 18 continue though, forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. What are you focused on? Dwelling on means fixating on it is what it does, man. You can fixate on the way, man, my life was all these things before COVID-19 happened. My, my finance and my job was all these things before COVID-19. My marriage was this before COVID-19. And this and this and that. And you can dwell on it. And you can live in this place of regret. And that's where the enemy wants to keep us. He wants to keep us looking back and always saying, you know what, things used to be this way. Oh my God, things will never get better. Things will never get back to the way they used to be, man. But I don't want things to go back to the way they were. I want things to progress from where they were. See, we should always be wanting to progress forward, move forward, adjust, evolve, because God always has greater for our future. Uh, so let me continue reading verse 19 here. It says, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it is. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Do you not comprehend it? Do you not understand it? See, if we're looking back all the time, we're not going to perceive what God is doing now. Let me tell you, and I'm going to say this very boldly, God is doing new things in all of our lives right now. It's not if, it's whether we're seeing it not or not, whether we're perceiving and understanding it or not. Are we so caught up in the past? Are we not letting go of the old things? And are we dwelling on it so much that it's blinding us to what God's doing? Let me keep reading through this here. It says, so now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a new way in the wilderness, streams in the wasteland. Now, really, in original context, God was talking about us transitioning from the law of Moses to the grace of God and Jesus, and that has happened. But what I want you to catch here is how God's nature is. It's always progressing, always evolving. God's always looking at, hey, I can take this to a new level. Hey, we can go higher this way. And I hope as I'm saying that, it's building hope on the inside of you. It's encouraging you saying, you know what? It looks like I lost everything from the past, but you know what, let me let God flip that to an opportunity to be the new greatest thing. See, the new normal, I don't see that as a negative anymore. As I've read through this and God's been talking to me about this this week, I've seen as an opportunity for God to even do more because that's just how big he is. That's how strong he is. That's how powerful he is. God can do a new normal in your marriage that is way better than the old normal. And God can do a new normal with your kids and that was way better than the old normal. God can give you a better job just because the old one faded away. And it, sometimes that's a blessing in disguise. Sometimes the old way finally stop working and dying out is a blessing in disguise where God takes that opportunity and says, now I can introduce you to the new thing. Now I can introduce you to the next thing is what it is. Now I can bring you to a new place in me where you're actually gonna enjoy life better. And that's why I expect for all of us, if we're looking to God and willing to let go of the past things and say, God, show us the way, lead us, guide us, I believe all of us will come out loving the new norm and forgetting completely about the old norm. We're gonna look back at that and be like, I am so glad we're not there anymore. I am so glad we don't do it the way we used to. I'm so happy and excited about the innovative ways and creative ways that God has introduced to us to do what he wants for our lives, the good things in our lives, and enjoy life more than ever. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in with me all week, and I encourage you to come back tomorrow as we continue the power of release. Love you, see you tomorrow.